Good morning, guys. Captain Dylan Hubbard here at Hubbard's Marina with another gorgeous morning view inside the pass. We got the Flying Hub 2 heading out here for its morning trip. Uh, beautiful, beautiful uh, day here and beautiful start to the fishing day inside John's Pass at Hubbard's Marina. Looking forward to a great day out in the water today. Uh, they're forecasting a little bit under two foot seas today, uh, but it looks like it might be a little bumper bumpier than they forecasted with seas, just about two and a half foot right now. So a little bumpier than expected today. Hopefully it won't be like yesterday. Yesterday they were only calling about two foot seas and it ended up being close to four foot seas. Gotta love the month of March. The weather forecast is just so crazy. For example, today they're only calling uh, about two foot seas while tomorrow morning it's almost four foot seas. So the weather really bounces up and down. Uh, again, today about two foot seas is what's forecasted for the day. Uh, tomorrow morning we are expecting a little bit of a bumpy morning. All of a sudden this little cold front uh, is going to pop down on us now and uh, create some bumpy conditions Friday morning. It should calm down quickly for us. Friday afternoon shouldn't be as bad. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday morning all look good. And then Tuesday afternoon, Wednesday morning, it picks back up. So definitely want to try to take advantage of that weather window Saturday, Sunday, Monday, or Tuesday morning. So if you want to get out and do some fishing, Saturday is looking really, really good. Sunday's looking good. Monday's looking good. Tuesday morning's okay, and uh, Friday afternoon is okay. But tomorrow morning is all of a sudden going to be a little bumpy. So just wanted to make sure we updated you guys about the weather there. And uh, we do want to let you know we are catching a lot of those kingfish and mackerel near shore. Kingfish and mackerel bite near shore is going very, very well. And then also, guys, we're seeing some hogfish, some good amounts of hogfish near shore on our five and 10 hour half day party boat trips. We're seeing a lot of those on our private charter trips as well. So the hogfish bite's going good. And then the mangrove snapper bite on our 10 hour all day and our 12 hour night snapper trips are doing very well. We've got a 12 hour night snapper trip Friday night. Um, that weather should be calming down to allow us to run that trip and have a good time. We did throw in a 12 hour extreme trip for Friday because uh, a few days ago, we saw Friday's weather was looking really good. Uh, now all of a sudden Friday's offshore forecast is not looking so good. So we might have to cancel tomorrow's 12 hour extreme, unfortunately, uh, but we are gonna try to come up with a, another option for those guests who have that booked. Offshore, we're seeing a lot of the blackfin tuna, the, the red grouper bites picking up a little bit for us. The mangrove snapper bites doing pretty good for us too. And uh, we're catching monster kingfish out there in the offshore waters. Near shore, anywhere from about 80 to 100 foot of water, we're seeing a lot of that mangrove snapper, seeing a lot of kingfish and a few tuna. Uh, closer to shore, about 30 to 70 foot, we're seeing those hogfish and we're seeing some uh, mackerel and we're seeing some kingfish. Not so many tuna inside of 80, 90 foot of water. Most of those tuna are out past 80, 90 foot of water plus. Near shore or on shore here inside John's Pass, the sheep's head bites going well. We're seeing a lot of snook, a ton of snook are biting right now. On the jetties, on the beaches, the snook action is going very well. And it should only get better and better as summertime approaches and those snook head onto the beaches to spawn for the summer. So the snook bite is incredible right now inside the pass and around the pass. And uh, we're seeing a lot of sheep's head too. And uh, the occasional pompano, the pompano bites going really well. A uh, guy the other day probably had a dozen of those pompano fishing from the western tip of that north jetty of John's Pass. Using those docks goofy jigs, uh, the pompano bites going well too. So whatever you want to catch, whatever you want to do on the water, definitely a great time to get out there and do it. Uh, keep in mind again, Saturday, Sunday, Monday is when the weather is best. 
Tuesday, uh, Tuesday morning's not bad, but Tuesday afternoon it is going to get bumpy. Uh, and then Friday was looking really good, but now Friday we're expecting some pretty bumpy conditions that morning. But here comes the Florida Fisherman heading out there for its five hour half day. The and the bridge is opening up for the Florida Fisherman there, heading offshore to do some half day fishing. Uh, we've been catching a lot of kingfish and mackerel on these five hour half day trips as we head offshore. Uh, and we're hoping to catch more of those kingfish and mackerel today on that five hour half day. Uh, we've got the kingfish rods ready to flat line. We've got the trolling rods ready. We're catching a lot of mackerel on the troll and then kingfish too. So if you've got a little boat, you want to get out there and do some fishing just a couple miles from shore, you can find those bait schools with a lot of mackerel on them and you can chum up the mackerel really easy. Even if you've got like a 15, 16 foot boat, if you head outside of Pass a Grill Pass or Blinds Pass, just a mile or two, and bring a whole bunch of greenbacks and chum, you can anchor up and start chumming and get those fish chewing really, really well for you. So hopefully you guys get out there and enjoy some fishing, all this great fishing we're doing right now and all the great fish we're catching. The bite is going very well and we have beautiful weather Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Hopefully you can get a chance to take advantage of that fishing. Uh, Saturday we'll have probably two boats going out, so we got tons of room Saturday. Monday, same thing, we'll have two boats going out, tons of room on Monday. Sunday will be a little bit busier because we have the all day going out and uh, we won't have the ability to send out two boats on that half day. Uh, but any way you slice it, it's a great time to get out in the water. Make sure you book your trip early. It is spring break, guys, and we are quite busy around John's Pass at Hubbard's Marina. Uh, but the weather is great. It's sunny in mid-70s today. We're looking forward to a beautiful day out in the water. And don't forget about all the island trips we run to. Our three-hour shelling trip is Monday, Wednesday, Friday. We've got our Shell Key Ferry trip every day now. We've got our Egmont Key Ferry trip every day as well. So a ton of great options to get out there, do some shelling, snorkeling, or just spend some time out at the island with us at Hubbard's Marina or head offshore and do some fishing on one of our many different five hour, 10 hour, 12 hour, 39 or 44 hour trips. We've got a whole bunch of options for you at Hubbard's Marina inside John's Pass. Remember, if you're too busy to go fishing, you're just too darn busy. Hopefully you get a chance to come out and join us and enjoy this gorgeous weather we have inside John's Pass. I know a lot of places it's still snowing and we've got our flip-flop shorts and t-shirts on down here in Florida. It was a little chilly this morning though, I'll give you that. It was about 60 degrees when I woke up. That's pretty cold for us Floridians, but luckily it's calm or it's uh, warmed up nicely as that sun gets up. It's gonna be in the mid 70s quick. Looking forward to a beautiful day. Hopefully you guys have a great day as well. And hopefully you get to come out and join us inside John's Pass and enjoy this beautiful view that we have here every morning. Tight lines, guys, we'll see you soon inside John's Pass.